Well, hello and welcome to a Simply a Gregster EV review. I didn't plan on making this film. We were out today filming another piece that will be posted soon. Uh, but it got me thinking about the CCS network here in Florida in and around the Orlando area. We went to an Electrify America site in uh, Davenport. We went to the OUC site in downtown Orlando and both were CCS sites that worked flawlessly. So now we're actually out here in uh, Clearmont, Florida at a EA site, a brand new EA site actually. There's five dispensers over there. This is the sixth one. We actually went away. There's some people out there talking and we wanted to film, but like I said, it got me thinking about the CCS network because online everyone said that it was absolutely terrible in this area that you won't be able to charge your car and that if there's problems, there's broken sites. And this is the third site we've been to today. Well, there's no issue. I haven't had an issue. I even haven't had an issue with L2 charging, with level two char charging at, at our hotel. So it left me questioning, is everything you read online true? Well, I think we already know that there's a lot of lies and myths and misinformation online, but everything here is working. That's, those cars are charging. We're charging here, actually. I mean, 86 kilowatts, but we're like 40, I think we plugged in like 45% state of charge. This is actually a really nice site too. But as I said, it got, it got me thinking when we were filming out those pieces before, of uh, the CCS network because the CCS network is the one you always hear where Electrify America doesn't work anywhere apparently according to anyone you ask saying everyone has a bad EA story or in our case we have a bad we have bad uh, Electrify Canada stories but it seems that they at least got their acts together because this is a second site that we've been to that works everything worked the payment of the machine worked we had the site downtown, the uh, OUC site, as I was saying, that was working too. That app worked flawlessly. So the CCS network here does work. Now, maybe in your area, the CCS network doesn't work or has issues, but out here, we didn't, like I said, we haven't had a single issue, which is actually quite impressive. And we're charging on my own CCS to, um, to NAX adapter that I brought from home because I'm weird like that traveling with EV charging adapters to bring you this, this content. But I'm actually quite impressed with how easy it would be to have a CCS enabled car here. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are traveling to the United States and if you're traveling to the Orlando area that it is quite good and, I, and I'm quite impressed. So I'll just leave you with that piece of uh, information. I'm not going to make this a long drawn out video because I feel it's going to go that way. We can start talking about the uh, charger specifications and whatnot. I think these are BTC. These are updated BTCs, but uh, no, everything here is good. Everything is good here. Everything is working properly as it should. It's just nice to see that the United States is moving in that direction where you can have an EV in a large area and not have any problems with it. So we'll just leave you with that piece of information that I found interesting and hopefully you will find interesting as well. So we'll leave off on that. Again, thank you for watching.